Okay, other news now. Only News 5 is following through on the effort to find a man who attacked a woman on the towpath trail. We spoke with her last month after she survived that terrifying attack, and now our Bob Jones checks in with her once again as police try new tactics to catch the attacker. More than 2 million people enjoy the 101 mile long towpath trail each year, but on June 28th, a section of the trail turned terrifying for a 26 year old woman. She was running near Bartages Street in Akron when a stranger grabbed her, knocked her to the ground, and started strangling her. Choked me uh, from behind. Um, he started pressing very hard, really hard. And uh, that's how I realized he just was a psychopath, that he just wanted to kill me for no reason. She was knocked unconscious, but a doctor who happened to be walking on the trail witnessed part of the assault, scaring off the attacker who is still on the loose. Summit County Crime Stoppers is now offering a reward up to $2,000 for information that IDs him. I've been having anxieties. Um, a stress every time like I walk to my parking lot here. When they're just out for a run or a walk and it's very, very concerning that, that there's somebody out there that would do this. Lieutenant David Whitten says likely DNA from the suspect was found on the victim's hands. That DNA was submitted to a national database known as CODIS, but no matches yet. Sometimes it, we get it, we get a match right away. Other times it takes a while for the the system to catch up with the match to confirm the match. The strangulation happened near this abandoned brick and boarded up building, which has multiple broken windows. The victim believes her attacker came from that building. So I think he was like kind of uh, hiding there to wait for me. City officials told News 5 they're sending inspectors to the vacant building to check the integrity of the structure and to determine if orders need to be issued to secure it securing that attacker a top priority for police. We really don't have somebody we're zeroing in on. Hopefully that changes. Hopefully that changes uh, soon. The towpath trail victim is hoping for that too, telling me she's now afraid to run outside and taking self-defense classes. It's really important to catch this guy. Police estimate they have spent more than 100 hours trying to identify the attacker, and they believe it's possible others may have had interactions with the man on the towpath urging anyone with information to call Akron police. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.